Hey, hey, what's up, guys? So, it's your boy Dusika from Gadget Berry, and today I'm back again with one of my tech review videos. So, what I have in front of me today is a beautiful Huawei Mate 9 with uh, a double lens camera setup by Lesha themselves. You know that Huawei's been collaborating with a company called Lesha with making this dual, dual lens camera with the wide angle lens and uh, the through telephoto or, what so, or whatever it's, it's called because i don't really know what it's called or oh, i think it's called the ultra wide telephoto lens or something like that so you know that when it has leisure camera integration you know that it's a flagship smartphone so this was a huawei's mate flagship of 2017 if i'm not mistaken now it did come with the huawei oldest with huawei's older software but what of course we'll be talking about today is how life is in the mate 9 after the upgrade to android version 9 if i'm not mistaken which is pi i haven't been following the android versions ever since lollipop as such as uh in names and uh, version numbers but i'm just gonna uh, i'm just gonna check i'm just gonna check what android version this is running and yes i'm right it is running android version 9 and uh it is called pi so that's android p so rsvu so in like maybe i don't know five years i think android is going to be out of letters i'm quite interested to find out what they're going to be calling their android versions so as you can see right here on the dial things have changed now the toggles that you use to get on the upper margin of the screen you get them on the bottom much like the ios this is more like what the, the iphones look like uh on the dialer well in terms of those tabs that are positioned in the polo that are positioned in the bottom area of the screen now everything else looks different as you know that iphone still sticks with the keypad that actually blocks that that takes up the whole screen so with no reasons to actually browse on or whatsoever you can click the recent button and just go to recent on iphone however huawei decided to integrate both the dialer pad and the recent so you can just call your recent or see who you recently called easily without having to click a button that can be used this can it can be a useful feature however doesn't seem like a thing it doesn't seem like a big thing right now but a hey, going on ahead the phone has a 64 gigabytes internal memory so you won't be complaining when it comes to storage because of course you can also insert your micro sd card up to 256 gigabytes so that's very good if you ask me the phone does have four gigabytes of ram which is very good because a lot of decent computers are actually running on a four gigabytes of ram so that's quite a decent spec over there well what else can i say about the phone the camera is really amazing as i did speak about the two camera lens earlier on uh now when both the lenses are, are, are enabled it actually gives you a wider uh angle of things however i'm just not going to review the camera as of now because i do not have the right infrastructure to do stuff like that but i will be putting the pictures that i took with this phone on the video so you're just going to browse through those and maybe a clip or two that i've taken with the video uh looking at the design you can see that it's not so different from the huawei's mate versions and it's not so different from the Mate 20 Lite. However, you do get the metal back, which you do not get on Huawei Smart on Huawei Mates anymore. Actually, you do get the glass, the glass back with that sapphire colors, uh, sapphire vibe, vibe colors going on, which actually change colors based on reflections. Now that's where you can actually tell this phone's age. However, as you can see, the software looks exactly as the one that you find at uh, the one that you find on the May 20 light uh the P Smart 2019 i mean your Y7 okay, well the Y27 the Y7 2019 doesn't really have the full version of this new software of this uh, new user interface i think it di it did get the it did come with the Android version 9 however it did not get the best out of the EMUI which is emotion user interface from Huawei because it is quite <laughs> uh limited so to speak so if i can just i would bring it up but 
no let's just carry on with this phone you do get a six inch L led screen on this phone so it's a full hd screen unfortunately i just cracked it this morning as you can see that the crack is still fresh probably gonna get this sorted out and uh sell this for like four thousand rands which in dollars would be around 350 uh, dollars or so so you do get a fingerprint scanner at the back of course uh, you do get the app the aperture sensor over here uh, it's a 1.22 by 27 ASPH it's called the Samarit dash H so I do not know much about that sensor but I thought I should just point it out for enthusiasts out there who actually do know what it's for maybe they can actually go for this phone because now the values really plummets it down you can pick this up for like four 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 thousand grand as i just said in south africa second hand i do not know what's the price brand new well it's around 7.5 in rents so that's around 650 dollars 680 dollars just around there uh in us dollars of course one thing i like the most about this update to version 9 is that you can actually you get three you get three navigational options you get the gestures which is my favorite you get the single key navigation which kind of looks like uh, uh ios's uh, ios's replacement of their physical hardware home button so this one you'd expect that it works similar but it kind of works very different uh for your recent tabs you just swipe it to the left or to the right and for home you just press it but i'm not interested that much in that option i'm just gonna go for the one that i like the most which is the gesture controls you do get the three navigational keys which i was using which you can also configure uh their combinations you do get one two three four combination types and uh, if you're wondering what's this little drop down button it is for your drop down menu just for example if if you have it on that configuration so now more more especially since the screen is bigger is, is so big on this phone if you're in an upskew position and you can't really reach the top of the screen you can just press that button and it pulls it up and it pulls your notification panel up and you can uh, press it then it just uh, disappears but that's not the one that i like the most i just thought that i should touch on it now this is the one that i like uh the gestures because it kind of feels like ios and i like what huawei did over here it's uh much more accessible and much more user friendly compared to the ios's gesture controls that you get uh from the iphone x xr uh upwards xx max those models so what so when you're in this gesture mode you don't actually get the three navigational buttons or you don't get anything down there they do teach you how to use them so if you want to go to your recent tab just swipe all the way up uh to the middle section of the screen or if you don't want to do that if you want to do it the ios style just swipe and uh make a c curve from the bottom to the right then you're gonna get your recent tab even if it's from the bottom to the left you're still gonna get your recent tabs now if you wanna if now if you are in an app or something and you want to go to your home screen just swipe up then it's gonna take you back to the home screen and uh, if you're in an app and you just wanna go back one step or two steps can just swipe back from the edge or you can also swipe back from the left the left edge so you can use both edges unlike the ios whereby to go back one step you just have to use the left edge even if it's not as accessible in the position that you might find yourself in so that was it guys this was a short go walk around video of the new software uh, on the huawei mate 9 this is how it looks after it's upgraded i wish i had a before video for you guys but uh, when i got this phone it was already updated so big up and shout outs to the person that i got it from my supplier of course so i didn't have to go through the drama uh sorry i didn't have to go through the trouble of upgrading the software myself with my own uh mobile connection and stuff like that so if you did like the video please do press that like button i'm sure by now you are parties with that like button and uh, click the subscribe button and join us at gadget berry so it is gonna be a goodbye for now from your boy Dusiko. and uh till i see you again on the next video it is a peace out and uh, please do take care and uh, tell your friends about this channel peace out